Rainy season na tayo mga Lodi. But the competition and intensity for the third and last stage of the Valorant Challengers Philippines, presented by the largest multi-game esports league in the country, PPGL, is, as expected, lit as <laughs> Okay, so without further ado, we'll take you back to the ins and outs of what transpired at the Valorant Challengers PH Stage 3 Week 1. My name is Denki, your host, and this is Inside the PPGL. Work from home edition pa rin. The VCT has shaken the world of competitive Valorant once again with their announcement of Stage 3. Berlin, Germany will be the next destination for the Road to Masters. And this time around, each week, we will crown our PH representatives to join the gauntlet for the third VCT Challengers Playoffs. Before, it was only two slots. But now, we'll have three Pinoy teams taking the Pinoy flag on a regional and hopefully global scale. And so, the first week of the PH Challengers Stage 3 was jam-packed. We see all the familiar faces. Some are repping different colors and insignia. But the new kids on the block, this time around, are seasoned veterans on the Philippine FPS scene, ready to strike and go on the offensive. Gets you better. Formerly a part of Brand Esports team but for a different FPS game, South Built Esports have been building hype as they made their switch. In fact, upon their full commitment to Valorant, they saw immediate success locally and was able to take a slot for Week 1 of the Challengers Stage 3. Making their debut at the biggest stage here in the Philippines, Aziz, Derek, Ja, Micro, Papi Chulo, and Pro have big shoes to fill, as everyone regarded their experience and accolades with other shooters as building blocks for success. Unfortunately, they came across a recurring contender, the seemingly immortal SV Empire in the first round, knocking them out early in the update. Let's see if the vets can bounce back from this tragic debut and prove to everyone South built esports are truly built different. We have always seen teams soar high to the moon from down low, and esports dreams becoming a reality here at the Valorant Challengers PH. But when you give wings to dreams, you might even race your way to the galaxy beyond. Galaxy Racer has been a staple here at the Valorant Challengers PH since the second stage. But Stage 3 is looking to be their best look yet. Boosted by the fusion of former Archangel and Dreamfire, the polymerization of potency and potential makes GXR a top contender for the VCTPH Stage 3. They started the Week 1 swinging hard, knocking out SR Kadiliman, who seems to can't get past the quarterfinals, 2-0. Their next hurdle was incredibly tough, one of Stage 2's PH Challengers Champion and SEA Challenger Playoffs representative, Zeal Esports, formerly known as 6045 Pirates. Map 1 went convincingly towards the Cebu-based Zeal Esports, and it seemed that GXR was once again walled to get to the finals. But Ching, Eman, Georgie, Carl, Pizza FPS, and Johan finally broke free from their curse and took down the defending champions 2-1 and headed to the Week 1 Grand Finals to face the next final boss of VCTPH, Brand Esports. Now finally setting foot at the Finals, let's all see if the Galaxy Racer squad are now ready to conquer the Valorant Universe. They say that the only thing in this world that is constant is change. Somehow, this universal truth is challenged by a Valorant squad. When you say Bren will win the Challengers PH Championship, it's not a prediction, it's a spoiler. Despite no longer the impregnable undefeated titans of the previous VCT PH stages, the winning ways of the Bren Esports prove to be difficult to challenge. On the first day of Week 1, they faced and defeated the new and improved DR Esports, powered by DR's core lineup plus Hashira recruits in a convincing 2-1 score. They met SP Empire in the semis on day 2, but their rematch has once again inevitably went in the favor of the boys in black and yellow. As the week 1 draws to a close, 
they are up against the Red Hot Galaxy Racer for the Grand Finals. The match went all out, tooth and nail. But despite GXR's best efforts, the Titanic squad of Borkum, Dispenser, Dubstep, Jesse Vash, and Wits for the third straight time takes the VCT PH Championship. Bren Esports are the first team to get seeded the Stage 3 SEA Challengers Playoffs. Congratulations to Bren Esports, your Week 1 champions and the first PH team to qualify for Stage 3 SEA Challengers Playoffs. Also, big kudos to Galaxy Racer, Zeal Esports, and SV Empire as they return for Week 2 as the seeded teams. They will be joined by Week 2 Open Qualifier winners, Alpha Esports Pro, Oasis Gaming, Sierra Esports Atlas, UCFC Esports, and South Built Esports. And yes, the Valorant Challengers PH Stage 3 Week 2 is underway, so make sure to like and subscribe to PPGL so you don't miss out on any updates, registrations, or live streams for the VCT. I'm your host, Denki. As always, let's all stay safe and see you on the next episode of Inside the PPGL Work From Home Edition. Pakuna na kayo.